Sequoia. I'm Sherry. And we are here today to talk about the baseball idiom, stepping up to the plate. Okay, so this is actually um, a very common one. And the meaning is to show that you are ready to work or volunteer your efforts to do something. Well, you stepped up to the plate to help me with this video. Exactly. So I said yes. I came, I said yes, I showed up. Mm -hmm. so. so that means Sherry said, yes, I'm ready to do this. I'm willing to do some work and to help you out with this situation. It's really common in the workplace. Um, it's really common to describe other people who really did something um, that showed their willingness to help out other people or to help out on a project at work. It's very common. Um, so let's talk a little bit about where this term comes from. Now, you do need to understand a little bit of baseball vocabulary to understand. And the important thing to understand is that in baseball, you have a pitcher who throws a ball, and then you have a batter who hits the ball. And after they hit the ball, they have to run to bases. And there are four. There's one that they start out at called home. There's first, second, and third. And then they go back to home again. And when the batter is ready to begin and ready to try and hit the ball, they actually have to physically step up to the plate in order to hit the ball and to let the pitcher know that they're ready to play. So that's where that phrase comes from. You gotta show up to play ball. Mm-hmm, you have to show up to play. So let's see if we can think of some other examples for how to use this. If somebody, like you said at work, <clears throat> if somebody uh, volunteered to take on a new project or helped you out in some way, um, you could say that that person really stepped up to the plate on that project. Mm -hmm. They helped out, they showed up, they did a good job. Exactly. Um, you could also talk about uh, somebody else or yourself who is going to do something in the future. Maybe there is a volunteer position on a committee that you're involved in or a, a volunteer group that you work with and they have a new project coming up and you've decided that you want to help out. You can say, I think that I will step up to the plate for that position um, or that tomorrow in that meeting, when they ask if anybody wants to do that, I'm going to step up to the plate. Another example, like in a personal life, if a boyfriend finally asks their girlfriend to marry them, you can say that he finally stepped up to the plate and asked her to be his wife. Yeah. So, you'll notice that this is what's called, well you might not know, but this is something called a phrasal verb. So you'll notice whenever we use it, uh, step is the verb in this phrase and up to the plate, those, ver those words, they never change. We just change step to match whatever subject and, and verb tense that we need to use. But once we add those other words, it's not like the verb step by itself. Um, it actually changes the meaning, so we have to use all those words together. So we change step to match the subject, but up to the plate, those always stay together and they always go with that verb. They don't change. Well, we hope this video helps you use uh, some baseball idioms in your daily English. And if you liked this video, please check out the rest in the series where we're going to talk about some more baseball idioms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other resources at readylanguage.com.